<clears throat> yeah, gosh, guys, guess yeah. what? This back to school season, how about yeah. you let HelloFresh handle dinner? Uh, because yeah. they're delicious. Plus, their quick and easy meals take the stress out of mealtime, even on hectic weeknights. Mm. Get 65% off plus free shipping with code VALLEYCAST65 at HelloFresh.com slash VALLEYCAST65. That's right, go to HelloFresh.com slash VALLEYCAST65 and use code VALLEYCAST65 for 65% off and free shipping. They're delicious and convenient. Now, Ooh. let's begin the show. Joe. Joe's back. Nailed Joe's it. Joe's back. Nailed the pre-roll. Nailed the Joe intro. Look at us go. Look at us Joe. go. We needed to nail that Joe intro. We were having trouble with it. <laughs> yeah. Practice uh, all last podcast. <laughs> Listen, guys, I have some big news. Yes. You're married? I'm, on, I'm married. Thank you. Yes, let's ride this train as far as it'll go. I'm married, and I got it's married. It's in the in title. <laughs> it's in the title. Uh, it's in the thumbnail. Again. I got married again for the hits and the views. Well, no, we'll call this attention. episode. We'll call this episode. Elliot and Grace divorced? Question mark? Question mark? What? Question mark. Don't feel like watching movies, so I'll watch people guess them instead. I don't know how it goes. I think it starts with your uh, uh, show. Can we please just start doing really shitty clickbait stuff like that? <laughs> just yeah, so that would go great. <laughs> just, yeah, uh, be as disrespectful as possible to our wonderful <laughs> listeners. Um, I'm on, no, I'm on day four of a uh, five day cleanse. Oh Uh-oh. no! What, is, what kind well, okay. of cleanse? There's yeah. so many. I uh, it is a company called Chroma K R O M A. Shout out Wait, to them. And let me guess, just based off of the <clears throat> name, I think you are not eating porn. Oh, for five days, no eating porno. I get you it. Couldn't do it. How did you get that from from Chroma? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, but I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> I like. I mean, I thought I, he was gonna give some like intellectual. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't think it's part of the program. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I'm eating. Uh, I get like I can't eat till nine a.m. today to make sure my fasting is complete. Oh, and it's a I fasting eat, thing. Yeah, and then I eat mostly liquids, and I'm allowed to have a little bit of protein at the end of the day, but no caffeine. Very little salt, very little sugar, very uh, uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. So your no, liquid no. by liquid you mean water? You can have water. Uh, I'm having water now, and then they give you like like a little latte, and then like a superfood and like a smoothie, and I get to have porridge um, in the morning, <laughs> and then for lunch I get bone broth uh, mm. that gets heated up. So and still I liquid. Put- Still liquid, and then if during the day I get hungry, I can have a spoonful of cookie butter, which is neither a cookie nor butter, and I, it is good. And it the first two days were terrible, and now I feel great. So it's been a, a nice time. I was gonna say because no caffeine, are you just dropping caffeine after being on it for a while? Yeah, Oof. I had a pretty bad headache uh, yeah. yesterday. Today is way better, but. Um, yeah, yesterday was like, oh, this is awful. But I, the energy stuff's great. I mean, I do, I do recommend it. It's starving. It's cool starving. It's it's starving for cool people. <laughs> starving for cool send, people. Are they sending you a pack of everything that you like can eat, or do you have to get it yourself? Or are they sending no, you boxes? They send a, a giant box with uh, like a drawer in it, and like a full circle of things, and like a full breakdown, like. Now you I take this that. mix. Now you add this mix. Now you add this mix. Yeah, and most of it's pretty. Is this the first gross. time you've ever done anything like this? <laughs> this is this is the healthiest thing I've ever done in my whole life, and the only time I've ever done a cleanse. Yeah. Damn. What's, what's the motivation? Motivational factor. What What's going on here? Do you have you seen how I treat myself, Joe? This <laughs> is uh, this is a cry for help from my body <laughs> the first the night before we did it we ordered pizza and then cold stone creamery like we oh, were about to perfect. go about to be like executed <laughs> and uh then so the grace is doing got, it too that's great that's oh yeah I, we wouldn't i wouldn't misery that. loves Yo. company yeah and, and yeah <laughs> And then it becomes it was, a competition. Misery loves competition. Yep. Yeah, it's competition. It's making sure we're just like, 
okay, I guess like yesterday we had a little bit of something that tasted good. And I was like, we can't do this again. Like this feels awful. (laughs) And we felt so guilty for having one bite of like a piece of meat. And I was like, oh, this is a new, this is different. My body's changing. The amount I'm farting is more than anything I've ever experienced. Stinkies? Oh, uh, all shapes and sizes, <laughs> but especially stinky. Yes, thank you for asking, Damn. Kevin. Incredible amount, comical amount. Ooh. Joe farts, as I like to call them, because yeah. they are very like designed to be funny. <laughs> They're prominent. <laughs> They're prominent and frequent. It's like a little friend. My butthole is a little friend that talks to me all day. Wait, okay. Uh, so, anyway. so the motivation was to stop treating your uh, your body like a garbage pile, but what is the desired outcome of your specific cleanse that you are doing? Uh, energy, just having energy and feeling better. So after this week, you do just go back to what it was before? <laughs> you know, I love to say that it won't, um, but I don't know, man. Like... I probably will pretty quickly go back. That it's just feels it's nice though to they give you good stuff in this thing. It's a it makes me feel very good. It's just What's like the protocol. Like, do they say you can do this once every however many d- days in the month uh, or whatever? I don't know. I think that I, I saw like there's some different like tracks you can do and then one of them is like you know they're always like talk to your doctor beforehand i'm like i'm not gonna do that no i don't think way. you should do it once a month once a month would probably be pretty pretty gnarly but it definitely is like a shock to my system my body's just been like what are you doing dude this is so, crazy we haven't had anything like this ever it's the liquids <laughs> and you're also doing the fasting <laughs> you have yeah, to like yeah, not yeah. eat for a certain amount of hours yeah like 12 Damn, to 15 dude, that's hardcore you're going for yeah, it and the lack of coffee really sucks. Yeah. yeah but then not drinking's great because then it just clears everything out. And True. I'm drinking a crap ton of water. <clears throat> and then just eating liquids, just just liquids constantly. <laughs> this is my only cup. This is all I drink out of. I'm like a little astronaut. It's fun. I mean, it's got to be doing something because immediately when you jumped on the podcast this morning, both Kevin and I were like, damn, Elliot yeah. looks cool today. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's glowing. I haven't even showered. He's growing. <laughs> <laughs> Baby boy's growing. <laughs> yeah, because really, we did like we after the wedding and we did the Palm Springs and we did the Joshua Tree. We're like, Here comes another. Boom! Whoa. Did you hear that? That got yeah, that picked up the, on got the mic. That, that was like yeah. you dropped some that, pudding. That, that was, yeah, <laughs> that was wet. Yeah, no solids, no solids coming out either. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Wait, have you? What's the poop been? <sighs> Tiny, gentle, but <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Oh, tiny, okay. tiny, gentle so, poops. Solid, tiny, 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 gentle yeah. drops. <laughs> <laughs> tiny, gentle drops. <laughs> I like that. Honestly, lovely. Not pain, not a lot of like, you know, <laughs> existential regret during pooping. Yeah. It's nice. Anyway, yeah, uh, we don't have to keep talking about my bowel well, movements. Well, it'll but. be interesting what happens when you go back to being a garbage person because my buddy John and his wife for the last like two years have basically been doing the keto diet. And oh yeah, gosh, not really. That motherfucker is a commitment. And every once in a while, because you know, they're normal human beings, they'll be like, I'm like, going back to what made me happy. And they'll just like, I, I'm gonna have pizza and beer tonight because I freaking love pizza and beer. And it fucking destroys them. Yeah. Like, I bet. Yeah. Like pain. It's it's but also guilt because you're betraying the last however many <laughs> months and training that you yep. did up to that point. Especially so keto. Do, Mm-hmm. But it like it physically hurts them to the point where like that the makes next sense day, though they're just yeah. like wiped out. Yeah, God. it's really weird how it takes like in now being the fourth day on the third day it was like oh my desire to eat things like just isn't there like I don't really like first and second day it was like ah, give me everything and I'm all grumpy yeah. but the third day it was like. I don't remember food anymore. And now I'm like, if I go back and just start gorging myself, yeah, I can it's see gonna myself hit getting pretty pretty yeah. sick. Yeah. I, I, had to do the, it's a good time. I had to do a bunch of different like diet tests when I was going through all my health stuff. Like I did low carb uh for like a month and a half. That made me feel like shit. Cause they were like, Oh, you'll feel super tired for the first like week. And then you'll your body will bounce back and like I just drop like it just destroyed me. And they were saying that like some Whoa. people just can't handle it the same. Like some people can handle keto and other people just need carbs. Like they just their yeah. body needs it. You burn yeah, on this it. is it's like your no energy. carbs. 
Yeah, but some people can like their their body can make that switch or whatever, whatever it is that the science of mm-hmm. it. And some people like I do better on a high carb diet, surprisingly. Huh. I feel like I've got one of those bodies. I can just give and take anything away. Yeah. Like cold coffee. Like like when I just stopped drinking coffee and and alcohol, cold True. turkey. Like it didn't even affect. Me. I actually yeah. find that the way it did affect me is that I think coffee, which I I drink more out of like a comfort. Like uh, oh, yeah. the warmth, the, it's, and it also keeps me from eating. It fills you up. Um, I don't think it gives me energy. I don't. I don't feel. I've never really? felt like I get like a, a jolt of energy from drinking caffeine like that. Um, and felt I actually felt like I had more energy on the daily when I was off of it. Yeah. Damn. Have you guys seen? I have. A, I only watched like ten minutes of it, but it's called How to Change Your Mind, and it's that documentary about like different psychoactive drugs but the first one that the guy does like 10 minutes into it as it's like part of the shamanistic experiment it's on netflix but he does he they get the woman gets her him to breathe in tobacco and okay. it like and then they he starts talking about caffeine and the same way caffeine does all these things and like the way we have all these stimulants but if they're packaged a different way then it kind of like freaks your brain out but just with tobacco he like goes on this insane trip that was like like he's like start shaking and convulsing from breathing it in. I think it was like some kind of like super condensed version of it. But I feel like with caffeine, when you have so much like little tiny bits of it, it can't possibly keep continue to like mm. excite you no. very much. Do, yeah. Do you find Joe that when you went back to it that it gives you energy or it, even still? Not really. No. Even when I went back to it, it became more of just like a, I fell back into an old habit. Uh, yeah. And I feel like I know my body pretty well. I don't put a lot of stuff into it. I even like even when I I don't like taking aspirin when I have a headache. Yeah. And uh, I've yet to feel too much. I've yet to experience too many things that actually make my make me feel like my body is uh, being sabotaged by my actions or choices. You know, yeah, unless you, unless you drink too much or, or whatever. So, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm really interested in that tobacco thing. Do you think that was just like a massive concentrated hit of nicotine? Had, and the it nicotine seems like just... it was, yeah. But to give you like a trip is kind of, I wouldn't think that it could do that. Yeah, he starts like convulsing. I don't know what the prep is. Apparently it's like a Native American ancient kind of ritual. I don't know, but they might stop. It's definitely worth watching. Okay, second thing. I have more news, guys. Uh-oh. Elliot and Grace are... Yeah. (laughs) We are getting into Mario Kart because I (gasps) got a a Switch. Oh, boy. Never going back, baby. Guys. What'd you get, the big boy or the light? Does the controllers come off? Yeah, controllers come off. Okay, you got the full thing then. Yeah, I got the the full full thing. Yeah. Oh, baby. Uh, Who's I got your driver? the console and the mm. OLED, the LED thing. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi, yeah. dude. Always Yoshi. <laughs> Always a Yoshi boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Yoshi on the bike with the big tires. Uh, <laughs> and But I also got uh, this game. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it because I feel like I'm t- literally 10 years behind. Yeah, you are. This you, game are. System. you are. Have you guys Animal ever Crossing. heard of this game? It's called Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dude I can is... I can't believe you've never played this on the Switch before. I played it for like I I don't I'm starting to understand how people don't get a lot done when they're into video games cuz I've yeah. been like I'm going to play for an hour and I'm going to try to get across this land and Oof. get to these shrines. That land and... is vast, my friend. <laughs> it's vast, and I don't know what I'm doing, and I die constantly, and these there's lasers shooting at me, but I'm having a great time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm a gamer that's, now. That's, the that's other. so with, funny. With you... Mario Kart 2, you can play with Grayson. That's so much fun, with the double control. Yeah, that's what we've been doing that. That's the very, best. Very, very fun. Yeah. And you just you bought just... it at the right time, because like a huge pack of new uh, tracks also dropped, too. So you will have... Oh, I didn't know this. So much oh, <laughs> content. Cool. Oh, it's great. It's a good time. How are Dude, you Breath, Breath of the Wild has been like used as therapy for people. It is so tranquil when you're not in the throes of battle and it's beautiful and you it's like it's like escapism on another level. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Joe, uh, are you still uh, playing Hades? Uh, I can't stop playing Hades. It's a waste yeah, of time. Yeah, see that's his game. Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. 
Uh, I don't know what hey, that is. Is that on Switch? Yeah, it's a it's, it's a Switch. dungeon. It's a it's a dungeon crawler that um, that uh, automatically like rearranges the dungeon that you are traversing every time, which can get very old after a while because it's like okay, I've I've done the same. You thing have to over do it over, over and, over. and over again. Yeah, but but they've nailed this this uh this equation of gamerism that i i've never experienced before the storytelling yeah. only advances as you again you do the same stuff over and over and over again get your powers like a castlevania metrovania type game and it would get boring and it would stop but the, the freaking storytelling and the voice acting mm-hmm. is so rich and involved and deep and and different that and the I'm art and everything it, and the art is really yeah. Cool. yeah I'm playing it for the story and it's yeah it's a very interesting mix of Greek mythology exactly. meets um 2022 non-binary <laughs> yeah. sexual yeah. Uh, relationships that are completely accepted and normal in Hades underworld it's, cra- it's yeah, crazy it's crazy I mean, cool. it's fascinating Dionysus was a bisexual oh well, they all are in they this all story. are yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much all of them in, yeah and in greek a lot of greek gods and stuff but it's um, just got that like like again cheeky 2022 uh basically cultural story arc that we're going through right now that's been out for a bit though that's been out for like four years yeah it's amazing it's really yeah. really it's really good I highly recommend it. i don't know if it's gonna i would you no, I think you're a Breath of the Wild Mario Kart guy. I don't know. No, you... Elliot, I don't think it would because I I just liked watching that game. Ellie would play it all the time, and I just oh, liked wow. watching it, but I would never play it. That's a true testament to a game is if somebody will just sit there and watch somebody yeah. else play yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. How about this then? Getting off of uh, video games, Hayden, my daughter, who is 15, went to Homecoming last night. She oh, looked beautiful. That photo, she looked absolutely amazing. Uh, she she's like a, young, a little woman. She's a young woman. And Did she post it on Instagram? On my on my Instas. Um, oh, yeah. Wow. And, I, I, you know, she was beautiful. And I, uh, she was No, he didn't post it, Kevin. I was there. I went to the home. <laughs> Elliot no, chaperoned. Sent it. So Elliot will know the stories took, that I'm about to tell. I took the tell. phone. <laughs> Dude. She's, so I'm trying, uh, she's, she, 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 without, you know, going too much into family stuff she's a a teenager and there's some angst there and some anxiety and before she goes to the dance she's you could i could tell there was some trepidation and and that comes out through anger communication (laughs) yeah and i'm just like okay i can tell what's up something's going on what's wrong what are you worried about she's like i just don't think tonight's gonna go well i'm like with your friends like because she's going with a big group of friends yeah i just some have days i just i'm like it's gonna be fine you are at the re- the part of your life where some people, yes, will be dating and they'll be off doing that, but you'll have your group of friends and you'll be fine. You'll be dancing. Fast forward three hours later after I drop her off, she comes home after not going out afterwards to get food with her friends. Uh oh. Spoiler: her and her friends, fine. Like they just were exhausted because. Okay. Because. <laughs> it's like I'm about to just reveal the parents' nightmare. <laughs> Somebody laced the food at the dance. So the cops showed up because two people overdosed. And the cops also showed up because there was a fake uh, gun threat. And then uh, the, the possibility of, of, of uh, other bad stuff that is, is borderline triggering. Um, is starting to like rumor and circulate. So she comes home and we're like, how was it? And then she revealed all that. And we were like, ha! <laughs> oh my God. Just Wait. nightmare stuff. Nightmare stuff. But she looked this great. This like... <laughs> like, but this doesn't looked... Dude, happen. This is That like is big. nuts. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? <laughs> Hayden can't... And all... But Hayden was fine because she can't eat anything anywhere because of her allergies, yeah. allergies and stuff so she was like in the clear do you did they find out what it was laced with i think uh i think all the details are soon to come but i was talking to our neighbor about it and thank god for the time that we live in because this is the type of stuff where 10 15 oh god, probably 15 my high school years uh if this type of thing happened 
the information isn't getting to the parents except for out of like rumor mills type stuff and then a community yeah. goes freaking crazy right they're like what's happening i don't know what's going on with my kids we have cell phones and stuff so where she's checking in and letting us know this is all happening and that it wasn't like a like a, an overblown situation where everybody's going crazy at the school or anything like that she's like i'm fine we're fine everything's fine just so you know so we're we're being clued in the whole time but man man so she comes insane. home she comes home and she's just like right rightfully just super disappointed and pissed off and i'm like can't relate kid that sucks but, love you yeah it lasted then like it wasn't like she got there an hour went by and then she it was done like it still was oh no, they long, still yeah well, this, is, this is la brother they kept going <laughs> yeah God uh, dang. you know props to hayden for having a premonition about how that night was gonna go it's like yeah, she psychically man. knew something was gonna happen and you were like it's gonna be fine no one's You're gonna drop the food daddy <laughs> daddy knows best daddy knows best baby don't you worry this is a classic core memory of yours you look back on a, this one day <laughs> you're gonna have a great time go have fun with your friends oh everybody Jesus. got drugged <laughs> Sleep. All Jesus. the children got drugged. Oh man, dude, How that's did somebody crazy. even do that. Man, man, I gotta. I want you yeah, gotta maybe you update least... us. Next, I'll do next my pod. I'll yeah. do my best if you can. Uh, do man. you know what it was laced with? And you no, that's what he said. Uh, wow. Okay, not yet. I was zoning out. Not yet. And who knows? That's who knows? Crazy. Maybe even maybe even the laceification is is could be borderline is, rumor yeah. mill stuff. Maybe the two people that OD just OD. I don't know. But it reminds you, yeah. <laughs> just reminds you that like every day I look at like Hayden and my kids and I'm like, oh, you're babies. You're babies. <laughs> you you still do baby things. You're so young. And then I think yeah. about the things that I was doing at 15. And I was like, I was a baby. There are some things I shouldn't have been doing. Hayden's not doing them. We're good. I trust. <laughs> Who knows? That's that could be like I'm totally wrong. But then this happens and you realize, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, people start being monsters real early. Like, like yeah <laughs> yeah like, yep it's that Awful. stuff's going down um and all you can do is communicate with kids and love them as best you can she's on meth <laughs> yeah that's what it Jesus. is that's why she didn't want any of food it was an allergy yeah, yeah. She didn't have an she's on the she's on that meth cleanse <laughs> did you guys uh, ever have like big drug things or alcohol things happen in dude, high school I'm, middle school like I'm kids telling bringing you, it in this story oh, yeah. that just well, i just relayed to you is so far away from the high school experience really that i personally experienced there was nothing like this where we grew up i had like really close friends who ended up like bringing beer bottles to school and like also another kid who like would fill up a water bottle with just pure vodka and i had just the, water, drink bottle I had the <laughs> water bottle vodka i had the water bottle vodka you guys kid. we yeah. all had a vodka check <laughs> yeah because yeah, that's yeah. like you think you're a genius yeah Get but just you end up drinking shit pure face. alcohol. Yeah, your shit face <laughs> is by lunch. Yeah, I think every school probably. Yeah, we probably had one or two of them uh, every once in a while, but none of these just like stories that's that a you big... would see in a like a movie. Like we never yeah, had anything huge. like that. We had our occasional fights. We had yeah, you know, kids were smoking weed and stuff. I I think like post my um, what I learned is that post my graduation, like a few years down the line. Uh, like cocaine and stuff like that finally infiltrated Damn. Uh, the school. But that's uh, in talking to Hayden, there's some commonplace stuff in these schools too, where it's just like, Oh yeah, that's them. They're the ones that do that. Yeah. And it's yeah. just known. Wow. Crazy. That's an early age to be doing the cocaine. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I, mean, I think mine was a similar, it was like the, some kids would do pot. There's rumors of a kid that would bring in a water bottle of vodka. That was so cool. <laughs> That was and, your teacher. Uh, all yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I would support it. Uh but the yeah, uh the there's a difference between the kids who choose to do it and then like this weird thing where a kid tries to get everybody else yeah. like laces something or like spike something and that's like Ugh, I don't know about that, man. That's, that's some like scary that's stuff. That's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we had the I'm, I'm sure did you guys have this? We had the I feel like every school had the coach or the teacher that Ended up having a relationship. Oh, yeah. With- that was my kindergarten, or not kindergarten, like elementary school, second grade PE <laughs> teacher. 
Your PE teacher? <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 what, what? He got what? arrested for like, it wasn't like, I think it was like a 14 year old. Oh. So oh, still God. disgusting, but it's murder not level. quite like second Murder grade. level stuff. For- yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Again, Chris is 15. Mur- yeah. I would just. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of like pretty, there was also like a, a person who was taken hostage right next to our school, like the house next to our school. So we got, we had to leave school. And then like there was guys, like the SWAT team was like, I remember driving past my school that day because we like wanted to see what was happening. And there was like a SWAT team like running around my playground. And it was, I still have this like image of just like a full like riot gear people on my playground running. And it was, was just one like, of them Whoa. on a swing. Yeah, just. <laughs> I'll be over here, guys. Uh, got the rear. Taking the legs out. Got the rear. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. oh man, I don't know if I should. This one's. This is. I, I don't know if oh, I've told you, you guys this. Now. You're in charge you of the it. edit, my friend. So. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Great point. I mean, you can you can tell me. Uh, uh, perhaps we put a little. Uh, 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 a little trigger warning prior to it. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that's, that's what I was. Gonna we're going to talk about some deep here. Hold on. Just we're going to talk about some deep out, stuff. David. High school. This was. Uh, I think my I burned down year. my high school. <laughs> 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 it was. Me. You know what? I'll edit it. I'll edit it out. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like intense. It was our photo- the photography teacher at our school, who was this super like everybody loved her. Probably like. 28 29 always had a smile on her face was just like always supportive of every classmate she had or class all of her classes and i just found out luckily i wasn't involved yeah you know where this is going but uh her class she had a morning class uh they show up at like 7 30 a.m they can't get open the door because it's normally open to her classroom Mm. They're like wondering what's happening. They finally go to the next door classroom, ask the teacher, like, yo, what's up? He comes around, unlocks the door, opens it up, and she had hung herself oh in the classroom. Oh, my God. And had, they had all walked in on her. Wow. And it was just the biggest, like, shock to the school ever. Oh, it's so sad. Wow. Yeah. What oh, a that, like, choice, man. It what was, is, and oh. truly, like, one of those things where it's, like, the person was so, it was, I mean, you hear about, like, suicides like that where they have such a happy face on the outside, but then to choose to do it in that way that's is another, anger. like, level of, like, what happened there. Uh, uh, that's, that's uh, there's a little bit of a, yeah, like, a vengeance thing going on there, or, like, a... Yeah. You know, it could be vengeance, or it could have been you know, like like he was saying. You never know what people are truly going through or how they feel. That could have been her only place of comfort, right? Yeah, maybe there true. wasn't a, like maybe the home At life, maybe home everything. Life. Yeah, outside. I don't think I ever like real. Uh-huh. I don't think the details were ever revealed. I'm sure it's like in the news if you like looked it up, uh, or like there's articles and stuff about it because it was like huge. But that. That still sticks with me of just like probably one of the biggest like things that happened Oof. at school for me. How did your school, not to belabor this this talking point too much, but how did your school handle that with the children? Guidance and- counselors. They pretty much just provided everybody with counselors who wanted to go to a counselor for it. Uh, pe- I never had her as a teacher, but like even all the kids who had her but didn't like see it, they all like had to grieve and... They handled it well, I think, but there's nothing more you can do than just like be talk there. about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's do not. they have class in that classroom the next day? Like, how does that work? Uh, probably not the next day, but eventually, yeah. Oof. 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 That um, would be a weird thing, too. <laughs> no, you drywall up that door. And yeah. It's, uh, mm-hmm. just let it. Uh, Ugh. Let it's it like a horror out. movie to me. Yeah. It is. Yeah, hanging is a scary thing. It's like, so hanging, scary. <laughs> it that it oh yeah. It, there's something about that like it creeps me out so much, and it seems apparently still a relatively common way to yeah. to go out. Uh, don't don't get it. Mm. Rough. Well, um, um, well that that really brought the mood down, Kevin. Should I edit it out? 
<laughs> I sh- no, I like it. Let's let's bring everyone on this journey of you know. I was starting out talking about a cleanse and Breath of the Wild, and I like the yin yang thing we have going here. It's just uh, yeah. Uh, perhaps we put a little uh, 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 a little trigger warning prior to it. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that's, that's what I was. Gonna we're going to talk about some deep here. Hold on, just we're going to talk about some deep stuff. David. David, just snip out Joe going. There's a trigger warning, and then and we'll uh, Joe, I, I just I feel snip like out been... me going. Trigger warning. <laughs> I feel like you've been getting names really wrong this today. You've said like well, the wrong name like, a ton of well, times. I can. <laughs> Is it the cleanse? <laughs> yeah, he's cleansing that connection from the brain. I have to his no mouth. caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, I'm no, and I'm empty. I'm empty on the inside, so I don't. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, okay. I, my brain's not fully there. Bringing it back again to something a little bit more fun and uplifting, please. Uh, Unsolved mysteries, which talks about some dark, horrible things, is back on Netflix. And Elliot, you should watch episode two because they deep dive into the 1994 Michigan UFO sighting that was covered oh, up. It's awesome here's a here's a text i Elliot got from buddy mine. i highly <laughs> recommend watching the unsolved this is to, directly to me i highly <laughs> recommend watching the unsolved mystery season three episode called something in the sky it's on netflix it's about a mass sighting of a bunch of uaps over lake michigan one night in 1994 yeah so it's i'm getting recommendations all over i will watch the heck out of that yeah nice. dude it's it's some fascinating sh- stuff uh yeah, I mean, you did it make it you right a believer? Now. Did did it? I mean, did it I've make always you... been a little bit of a believer. I've always been a little bit yeah. of a believer of, if, <laughs> if, if anything, this. Uh, it's just really, man. It's fun. It's fun. And the, the thing about it is, is that this certain event, the 1994 Michigan whatever blah, 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 UFO event, was not only. It's not like one guy or one girl being like, "Lights in the sky, I got a yeah. picture." It was an entire community. And yeah. uh, a dude, a weather radar specialist that was monitoring it wow. the whole damn time, who got ousted by the community retroactively because they were like, you can't talk about this anymore, Doug. And then the government was like, it's other things in the air. It's gas or whatever. Wow. He had to leave yeah. the damn state because he, he was getting ostracized by his, his scientific community. So he couldn't work there anymore. But in this, he gets to come back. He comes nice. back to Michigan and starts talking to everybody and stuff. Oh, it's great. Damn. I hope, I hope he has a big beard, a big white beard. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> signify the passage of time. Um, he surprisingly yeah. looks youthful for his age, and despite the stress. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, uh, yeah. really, really good. I'll definitely check it out. I um, There's another one out, too, about the uh, sighting in Brazil that happened. Similar situation where a bunch of people witnessed kind of the same thing. And it's the same guy who did the phenomenon on uh, Amazon. Oh, which is like yeah. the best, the best documentary, I think. But um, I, I have, this is a bit of a segue. I can't wait to watch that. Uh, and I have been watching um, Lord of the Ring. Uh, oh. a powerful, powerful ring. Uh, yeah. the most ring of power that the most pa- the, the power. most the ringiest power that you've ever seen <laughs> circle and, um, of power <laughs> well how many episodes it's the circle of i'm about like three in maybe three four how, something like how that. in love with you are, are you uh with the bromance between elrond and durin <laughs> i don't know if that if i'm even that far which one's elrond i don't have the character name elrond's yet. the young elf it looks very suave I like that guy. He's fun to listen to. And then Durin's the dwarf. Oh, yes. They're just now getting to that. Yes, yes. That's very okay. cute. Yes, yes, He's yes, like, yes. Wait, a dwarf? There's a dwarf? <laughs> what? Dude, come on, man. This is... Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> what? Uh, wait, Joe, have you watched all through? No, I've just done research for the React oh, video oh, that you're right. I made. yeah. Uh, yeah. looking for quotes but it's uh and what i have found as i hijack elliot's talking point we'll get back to you in a Please, second dude, no that's Just all that's all i have I'm looking at the up. comments from that video that i posted people true lord of the fans fans fucking hate it <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. Like they they call it shitty fan fiction. <laughs> yep. Wow. It's got um, it's so like mixed. There's such a mix of feelings on it. I'm not really sold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope it gets to me because you said the ending's really good. I'll stick it out. It is beautiful to look at. The dialogue, the writing, I'm not necessarily super. It's impressive. very just like Tolkien. Like uh, it's just so it's it doesn't seem like real dialogue. It seems like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Everything is like just as the morning dew slips off of yeah. the leaf. It's like poetic. So too Everything's our poetic. courage must. Yeah, and it's like yeah. it, it, it's poetic, but it doesn't sound like Tolkien level poetics. It sounds like a writer trying to wax poetic, and that I'm yeah. like, this is a little cringy to hear, but it's beautiful. I think like I think it was episode seven is like the most action packed. It's pretty much the entire episode is just one big fight scene, and that really like pulled me in because it was like oh this feels okay, like cool. old lord of the rings battles i love this and then the next two episodes were like okay i'm kind of into this i'm digging where Correct. this is going do you yeah. feel like any character in your mind is getting even close to like iconic status like where you're like this is the character we're all gonna remember this is the character galadriel's pretty remember. great she's pretty good yeah more I like her. or something like that yeah she's pretty great I don't know anybody else though. I guess Durin the dwarf is pretty like everybody's loving him because he's like the funniest. But uh, it's still it's just such a slow build, and I think it's because they know they have five seasons already, no matter what. So it's like they can just take their time to just make it how they want to make it. They don't have to like five seasons. Yeah, it's already done. Like they already have that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Galadriel is the only one I think that has like that X factor thing where she's you watch. She's just great. She's so charismatic. Yeah, she's yeah. really cool. Um, hmm. Not as cool as Breath of the Wild. Have you guys heard of this? It's a Zelda. <laughs> the new. It's a new Zelda game. <laughs> Why haven't they done a Zelda movie? Is there a Zelda movie in the works with all these animated like Mario movies I know. and stuff? I think they'll it's... see how the Mario movie goes, and you they'll think? see they'll see if it uh, if it blows up. I think. If we think Lord of the Rings fans are are borderline nuts, <laughs> oh, wait God. until somebody makes a Zelda movie. Like it's gonna ha- it's gonna be held to such a high standard that it's gonna be the bar is gonna be so high. I think they're just afraid of uh, of, of the backlash, no yeah. matter what they do, whether it's live action. I, at this point, if Mario does well, they might make it, but it won't be live action, which is what I would rather see than go for. But it'll be animated, just like mario yeah i mean if it was animated how that trailer for mario was animated because that trailer was so cool it was just so really beautiful beautiful. yeah the problem with that right is tonal it's a tonal problem like mario makes sense as an animated movie because it's like this is gonna be silly even though it'll be but it's zelda's more zelda ain't silly zelda is a very serious uh uh, storyline and canon i don't think a lot of people show up yeah sorry my bad. Cannondorf. <laughs> He's a Cannondorf. Cannondorf. <laughs> um, the problem with animating Zelda, now that I'm thinking about what I said, is that how many times have you went to an animated movie that was serious that you were excited about? Yeah, never. Never? Never? Outside of like the anime world. In a the theater? Oh, yeah. well, Pixar. Never? But still always silly. Like, I don't think you ever went to a Pixar movie thinking you were going in for, like, deep Super serious. Yeah. True. Brave is the closest, and people don't like Brave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people hate Brave. <laughs> I-, I think, yeah, if they did a Legend of Zelda, it would have to be. I mean, I would hope they would do full-on, like, Lord of the Rings treatment and oh, make it, so like. so cool. Like a classic fantasy, it. it's got all the ingredients. It always has. It always follows the steps of all the. It writes itself. It does. Well, then it should get on it and write it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come I on. I played Breath of the Wild for about twelve hours, so I wrote this two hundred page script. Uh, <laughs> you know how many uh, people have done that, Elliot? <laughs> I Elliot, can't uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you I, for submitting your script, uh, Mr. Morgan. Um, there. Are 200 pages here and uh, 175 of them are horse riding montages that's as far as i got <laughs> great awesome <laughs> five seasons in a movie <laughs> thank you uh, speaking of i mean my goodness 
<laughs> the community movie, you know? Six yeah, is everybody movie. coming You're back right. for that? Or I think it's not. still undecided. Oh, he's not for oh, sure. Okay. Uh, oh, apparently, I, don't know, I, I didn't know. Yeah, I just saw um, his absence of his name. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, also, Frazier's coming back, and that's more important. So, yeah. Is it really? Frazier? Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I like that guy's without, voice. Yeah, without uh, so far anybody but Frazier. Oh, uh, Frazier's bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Everybody else is like, we're good. We're good, Frazier. David Hyde Pierce is like, nope. I'm good. Um, I'm out. Um, what do you guys? How do you guys not? How do you guys keep yourself from playing video games? Why do you want to already go to play it right now? No, I did think about bringing it in here. Are you thinking about live streaming left... your video yeah. game play, dude? No, I'm telling I'm you, not. it's you're gonna be a Twitch streamer, Elliot. You little <laughs> I, Twitcher. I, I, no, I thought about it. Can you imagine? I mean, maybe that would be entertaining because I would just gaming, be like, <laughs> "Gaming." I so this Overwatch game just came out, Overwatch Two, and yes. I Ellie was into the first one, so she introduced me to this one. I've been playing it, and I dig it. It's fun. So I looked up because it's like you kind of have to know a lot about each character, like to know how to play them. So like I looked up a couple of the characters. I just typed in one time like Overwatch characters, abilities explained. I watched one video, and now my entire YouTube homepage is just <laughs> Overwatch videos, and it just makes me aware that like if you do gaming stuff, you're just gonna be in the algorithm of content. Like you just get put there. Gaming is just like everywhere. It's insane. Yeah. Oh, wait. The Maybe new I'll title of this episode is Elliot and Grace Divorce question <laughs> mark or Twitch gaming now. <laughs> That's the whole title. <laughs> Elliot starts I, a lot. It starts a Twitch channel. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't like the first part, but I also just farted again and <laughs> it stinks so bad. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't have AC thing. Uh, oh, Elliot, no. are we gonna do? Um, are you gonna tell me about myself in this episode you, or next time? <clears throat> it's up to you. I mean, I can ask you some questions to confirm your type, but it's pretty clear what your type is how, upon looking at how your long report. would it take? Um, not long. Apparently, uh, I thought it would take longer, but when I looked should through it these, be private? I feel like. Is it okay that Joe's watching? Technically, it should be private. <laughs> Is it okay if Joe's watching and no one else will hear? No this? one else. <laughs> uh, I mean, it should be private, but um, I mean, I can save you a lot of time and just let's just see tell here. Me what's wrong with me, dude? <clears throat> let's ask. Let's 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 go through and just confirm a couple of things real fast. Kevin, can you have a seat? Yeah. <laughs> Do you Just like to have low, okay lower? So <laughs> to <yeah. laughs> it's on the floor. Uh, all right, so I, have your, I do have your client report pulled up here, Kevin. Thank you for being here. Um, Were you able to see my answer to every single no question? no 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 oh, no? Uh, um, hi, it does uh, give me Mr. Scores. Blackie. My name's yes. Joe. I'm I'm auditing this uh, this session, uh, which is not a thing, but I'm that's what I'm doing. So just uh, <laughs> I'll like be over it. here. I've got nothing to say. Like I'm just it. learning. I'm just I like right. that you can say you're auditing stuff and 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 just be there. Um, <laughs> I'm just auditing you... this autopsy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. I guess he's auditing. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, just keep him here. <laughs> uh, do you? Uh, would you say that you're more organized and messy, or would you say you prefer structure and plans? Structured and plans. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So that's correct. That's my favorite um, Death Cab for Cutie <laughs> album. <laughs> now. Sorry, I'm just auditing. Uh, I'll shut up. Yeah, I'll yeah. shut up. No, I'll shut up. I like shut that. Up. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Please, please keep going. We didn't know you were auditing, so please, absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you say that you're more certainty-oriented or possibility-oriented? Hmm. I'm slightly more certainty. That's correct. Um... <laughs> Wait. That's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to start telling people when they're correct. Good job. You got it right. Um, that's what I think. And so that's what it is. 
Uh, let me look up your actual type. So for those who aren't familiar, I took a class in typology. Typology gets a bad rap sometimes because it can be used for bad things. However, it can also be used for personal growth and development, and that's very fun. Kevin took it and hit the test results that were sent to me privately. <clears throat> Our auditor left. Uh, were that <laughs> Kevin, as he suspected before, was an INFJ. That would put your dominant uh, function as introverted intuition. This would mean that you focus on the largest, most cosmic perspective. You envision, envision an image to represent something otherwise indefinable. Um, and cool. uh, when you're using your primary mental function, Kevin, you may appear, just tell me if this sounds correct, um, you may be, you may actually appear to be so deep in thought or be looking into your own soul and like weighing all of the options. You may appear intense and determined from the outside person who is not your type. Uh, you may appear serious, strong willed, and you might even sometimes feel appear a little untethered to reality to some people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. Would you- um, <laughs> Wait, does nice. the auditor think so? He's nice, been... meet, nice meeting you. I gotta. <clears throat> yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, I now. gotta go do some stuff. What uh, I think is interesting is your extroverted feeling. Now we're gonna go over. At, this is your 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 secondary uh, function, and we're gonna go over this, and then we're gonna go over the most interesting, which is your inferior function, Kevin. All right. Now, wait, why is... why we pass over extroverted extroverted feeling? Oh, we we're not. We're gonna hit that. Oh we're oh hit oh, that. oh oh. <clears throat> so. This means essentially. <clears throat> listen to me. Uh, I this am. is very important. Dude, shut when up. Using, listen to him. <laughs> so listening. this is. I listen to me. Shh. Stop. Listen. God, I love this. Oh, this is great. I'm not such an extra stop auditing. Thing. It's an awesome. uh, <laughs> <laughs> audit. Pa- pause. He's pause <laughs> audit. Um, the. Uh, <laughs> When you when using this extroverted feeling function, which is your second, so you're going to be pretty good at this. You're going to be pretty adept at extroverted feeling. Extroverted feeling is valuing the outside world. So the libido, introverted extroverted designates the direction of the libido. The introverted libido goes inward. The extroverted libido goes outward. By libido, it's like all psychological energy, essentially. Your attention, okay. where you put your focus into. So if it's extroverted feeling, feeling is not necessarily emotions, but it can be emotions. It very often is emotions. It's also the values. It's also your, the things you feel sensitive about, the things you place um th- as to be more important uh so if you're when you're using this which you probably quite often are you might uh, appear that you are focused on other people and other people's concerns because yes. that's what an extroverted feeling person would do charming Ooh. tactful and courteous a wonderful host he says on a podcast <laughs> a natural conflict mediator that's Ooh. interesting yeah i find that very interesting uh because you I think also... that I could be, but I think my confidence being low causes me to think that I like couldn't handle that. As an auditor, I believed everything Elliot <laughs> said about you up until the point that it was a conflict mediator. But then I was thinking, you have the tools to be such, but you choose not to be. Yes. I think I, I, I think you actually are kind of a conflict mediator. I, yeah, I think he does it well. If I spoke up tra- more. <laughs> but, he, yeah. but he doesn't do it. Yeah. You know After I mean? we we've worked together for a while, I, I think it, we've come to a nice consensus that we'll just go around and around in circles, and then Kevin will go, "Let's just do this," and then we'll go, "All right, <laughs> that's it." <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> to break it that down for, you, for your actual results a little bit, Kevin, you're in, way, way, way more introverted than you are extroverted, and you yeah. are way, way, way more intuitive than you are sensing. So sensing is like your actual what your the material reality around you. Um, and because it, it actually goes back and forth, so because you're like the the attitude for each type goes back and forth. So because your primary uh, one is introverted intuition, it means the next th- thing down will be extroverted, and then it goes it oscillates back and forth. So I you, see. because ding, your ding, primary ding, is in, ding, introverted, yeah, your secondary is extroverted. Extroverted next and, one's uh, introverted. Yeah, and uh, it's all it gets. Pretty interesting. Okay, so now we're going to talk real quick about your inferior function because the inferior function is seen as the trap door to the unconscious. It's where your actual contents that you are not conscious of come up from underneath the the depths of your psyche, and it usually Ooh. does so in ways that are painful and detrimental because it's your inferior function. So turns out you're process. a serial killer. <laughs> it turns out you're saying this you actually down my does school. say this says S E, and that does stand for serial killer. Uh, <laughs> S E is serial killer. Um, or sulfate but uh 
I don't know what the <laughs> periodic table is. So let's look that up real fast. <laughs> so this is fun. I love this with his books. Yes, it's. I know. Like I couldn't just Google it. <laughs> I mean, you um, got it on. all. Like you got post its and everything. Oh well, yeah, because I do the the uh, yeah the tables. <laughs> I gotta have my tables, Kevin. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> archetypally, your inferior function would be known as your anima and animus, and I can hear people exiting this con- this podcast right now. Absolutely not. Interesting. They're still there. <laughs> so, what will the auditor function- say next? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. My favorite part was the auditor. Uh, okay, so this means this is the stuff you're not necessarily good at, and this is this this is the way it might manifest with it being extroverted sensing. All right, so extroverted okay. sensing it means that you may become easily disoriented in a new environment. Um, you might tend to be highly attuned to the aesthetics of your home and office, making sure everything is in its right place and uh, organized. You may uh, subordinate experience to knowledge, missing out on life. So, ooh, mm. you might be uh, that's a tough one. Uh, you can, uh, you might inst- actually, if you see a graphic image or something that is incredibly violent looking, you might actually like physically revolt come. and re- uh, come <laughs> and it says that right here and um <clears throat> it says that you uh might get into addiction so you, you got to be careful about that i know um, that and uh you may <laughs> just takes a, just start smoking crack <laughs> <laughs> i hear that uh <laughs> you might be attached to a quirky item of clothing or other signature things Sensing extroverted sensing people have a attachment to items may cultivate a beautiful yeah, like a security or, blanket type of situation like just a not a way security, but if they pick it up or something they might like like a knickknack from their childhood they'll it'll rush back all the memories that were associated okay. with that that particular thing and then uh, it says that you may cultivate a beautifully sensate or sensorially sim- stimulating environment so you've I don't been know over if you've to done my that. place do you think that. Yeah, I think you make sure it's very nice. Everything seems to have its place. It's very clean, and you have lights everywhere, like the purple lights, the moody kind of very calming. Yeah. Yep. Um, What's now, my last my last one. That judging. would be your infer- That's your inferior. Oh. oh, oh, judging just means the judging versus perceiving is not necessarily. T- it's the way you deal with the world. So judging people. Okay. When you said you're more organized and you prefer plans and you prefer action, that is a judging thing. Whereas perceiving, I see people like to go with the flow and yeah. just kind of well, let things happen. Ellie is an INFP, so we're only one letter difference. But I know that that doesn't matter really. It's just like, yeah, it doesn't matter a lot. But that is interesting. It's only the it it. That 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 actually makes a lot of sense, yeah. Because the if it's only one letter off in the in one area, um, then yeah, it would mean that she's more go with the flow, and you're more um, like we yeah. need to be like. It means that she probably when she gets ready for a trip doesn't pack very organized or mm-hmm. anything like that. Whereas you have no. everything prepared and folded correctly. Yes, and anyway. you also said that Grace is the same type as me. Yes, <clears throat> yes, she is. She's the exact Which. same kind, but you are more extreme. Like your results were like, hers were higher results. Yeah. yeah, yours are across the board. Like, the only thing that maybe is your you your thinking and feeling is roughly in the center, you're which makes way sense still to me. more feeling. Yeah, but damn, it's in, it goes opposites of extroverted intuition and then sensate versus into sensing versus intuition and then thinking versus feeling and then judging versus perceiving. So anyway. Hmm. So it's all like it's all incredibly fascinating, but I have, and it leads me to one question about the results. Okay, the auditors, and, the, the auditor keeps cutting into. The... Yeah, sorry, um, <laughs> but I do have a follow up question about it all. Uh, and thank you for putting the time into it, Elliot. It's actually very fascinating. Uh, you invited Elliot over to your place, and I'm pretty sure I'm free all the time. What's going on? You've been to my place too, Joe. Not when there was purple lights. I don't know if the purple lights were there yet. God, we it sucks because I we did say I when I left I said don't tell, yeah. don't tell Joe. I bet you did. That's a very SFTV type of thing to do, you fucker. <laughs> SFTV. SFTV. 
I don't know what your personality is. That the trait name is. Of the next, <laughs> is that the name of the next big YouTube uh, company? That's... <laughs> I don't know what your profile is. F U C K. Fuck off. <clears throat> ISCP. Yeah. That's I'm you. I'm so curious what Steve and Joe are, though. I really want them to. I really want to know what they are. Yeah, we gotta I can find send out them the, the things. I'll send yeah. them the results. Here, so fun. we'll follow up. We'll follow up with this, everybody that's fascinated with this. Elliot's gonna send me the test, but for now. Because you know this a little bit, Kevin. Let's make a prediction. Elliot, what will I be? Kevin, what will I be? Oh, geez. Definitely introvert. Uh, I. Okay. <clears throat> I think you're going to be. I think you're. I... Yeah, I think you're. Uh, I don't know about his next one. N or uh, S. Well, let's see. Do we think Joe's more introverted or extroverted? Definitely, I would say introverted, introverted. right? Versus sensing versus intuition. Sensing versus intuition. So intuition is seeing... I feel like seeing... I lean, lean towards intuition with Joe. So I-I? Double I? No, it'd be I-N. <laughs> I-N. But I know that's not... A, they didn't... They didn't... Um, it, it was, ironically, yeah. they didn't label these intuitively. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, uh, Joe. I N uh T uh P I N T P lock it in boom Elliot, do you have another bet? What's your over under here? I don't know though. I don't know like really ITP the details might about be, Joe's life. Right. It might be INTP. Yeah, exactly. It's hard because we're his buds and so we get a version of like Yeah. A this mixture is the of Joe that I am who, around how you. How organized are you, Joe? Not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. I definitely think that still fits with INTP. And I, I think you're definitely going to be introverted thinking, but I could be wrong. And I think your secondary might be like me, which is extroverted sensing. But There's... actually, I think it might be intro. It would be, no, wait. It would be, you might be an INFP. That's my guess. Ooh, okay. INFP, the wins. same as Ellie? I'll make out with whoever's right. That would Damn. be my guess. Uh, and I think... I'm, my brain is so in the not dealing with uh, organizational things. Like, I can do it. Like, I'll, I'll clean my house, and I'll make it organized every once in a while because it gets nuts. But at this new job, they do so many videos that it has to be incredibly organized. And they've done yeah. it with, like, documents and spreadsheets. And I don't know if you guys know, but Airtable, we never use it the way it should no. be used. It's incredible. But it's so organized and there's such structure to it that I'm two and a half, three weeks in, and I still don't understand it. It's, Damn. It's like mind-boggling wow. to me. Wow. It's, mad, it's like wizard shit. Yeah. So who you're, knows? You're de- I think we got the I and the P figured out. My guess and is that you would be Steve is thinking E-S-F-P-N. E-S-F-P-N. P. E-S-F-P. <clears throat> if he was ESPN, man, what a great... <laughs> What a great life irony let's, that would be. Let's read the ESFP <laughs> yeah. uh, summary. Yeah, you're going to have to do a little <laughs> editing and add some music <laughs> here. Flip it through the pages. Trigger of warning. Flip it through the page. <laughs> That's where you're going to edit know. it from? <laughs> what did we say? What did we say? Uh, oh, ESFP. No. ESFP? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are yeah, all yeah, of the yeah. are all of the the letters of the acronym binary? Is it one or the other in every single in yeah. every spot? It's either oh, I yeah. or E, N or S, F or T, P or J, A B C D E F G, H I. And it, d- depending on what you're dominant on, like it doesn't. You can't just look at the thing and know what. Well, who cares? Uh, let's see. E S F. Who gives a shit? Um, <laughs> We're having fun. Thank you. Follow us on We're Patreon. Have... Elliot's uh, using his freaking degree well. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. This If you're saying ESFP, this is very funny. This is so they have quotes with the types. Yeah, this is what it is for ESFP. We're here for a short time, not a long time. So let's have a good time. Give me variety or give me death. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Check. <laughs> hashtag jokes kevin i think you just in that did more good than i did the entire time i was okay i'm gonna write that down and let's see if it uh let's see if that comes joe's true. tough though joe's to really tough 
Joe is tough because Joe can switch from like pensive thinker yes. to outlandish hand yes. in two seconds. He, he's and a also chameleon. Everybody, every type it's can. It's amazing what insecurity does to a person <laughs> and how they adapt in the moment. <laughs> That's what the exactly. I stands for, it, yeah. <laughs> All right. What does my it mean dominant. when the, I have the disease where I just want to be loved? Will that mean I switch <laughs> it up? <laughs> Sir, this is a uh. Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's enough of this. Well, we appreciate you all listening. That was a fun little romp. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Most likely be back next week. He's at a triple birthday because Brett Register, Mike Falzone, and and Matt Robb all have the same damn birthday. And they're having a beautiful thing. A little get together out in the woods. That's right. They didn't invite. um... Well, we don't want to talk about not getting invited to places. Not after this podcast. You and your purple lights. Totally. Kevin, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. All right. When are you guys going to talk about it? <laughs> just kidding. I like this podcast episode. This has been a jumble. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to go eat. I'm going to go drink some green. <laughs> You're going to do oh, yeah. nothing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Love you both. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other updates on Movie Movie Game. The stuff is being freighted over to our places in Europe right now. Europe. Um, so you, all of you that have been patiently waiting will get it. It's soon-ish. It'll still take time, but it's on the way. We figured out a solution. So, Hell yay. Yeah. It's also the holidays, and uh, we true. still have some stock left. So go to our, our Shopify store. And uh, I've got to have no complaints. Game's perfect. Fuck, no complaints. Looks great. great. Flawless. Plays great. Replayability is okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> All right. You put it on the shelf for a while. Come back to it. You won't remember it all. Forget it. (laughs) All right. Later, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 Bye